Oh my gosh, it's been a while. I haven't done like a regular video in so long. I've just been so busy and now school starting. So my upload schedule unfortunately is going to have to be limited because I have soccer and that'll go on for about two months. So yeah, I know it's it sucks. But we have a new trader's van today and it is loaded with shotguns. Let me switch to my other account really quick. But yeah, it is loaded with shotguns. And so today I'm going to go over which ones are probably the best. So yeah, everyone, I forgot to say my name is Nolan. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe for more content just like this and yeah oh that's not what i wanted to do let's just go through the traders van so yeah it's a lot of shotguns and if you're wondering I, I don't i don't actually know like which ones are good i know block shotgun is not that good uh it's it's gems obviously but honestly some of these are good you oh my shh stop barking you got weapons like saturn and um where was the other there was another one maybe it was just saturn but also mega destroyer they don't have input and output delay so they're actually really good but yeah also assault shotgun is really good predator i think is at least decent and i think prehistoric shotgun is good so yeah i'm just gonna use all those so saturn prehistoric shotgun assault shotgun predator and mega destroyer those are the top five i would recommend so obviously that list is completely subjective however i just heard that these two shotguns are like the semi-auto ones are really bad and so i just thought i'd just go with those five weapons because i actually don't know how these ones perform and yeah if you guys want to criticize me in the comments that's totally fine but that's just my opinion oh i'm finally doing shout outs again so shout outs for this video go to egg dog steve and gene lee if that's how you say your name for finding the keyword last video if you guys want to shout out i'm doing something different go follow my instagram link down in the description and i'll just pick three random followers to shout out in the next video also guys make sure you guys subscribe because this weekend i want to do a live stream where i give out winner's chest not going to be a lot but it's just going to be at random points throughout the stream so guys tune in for that because i'm going to do some giveaways also why not join my discord server and let's just jump right into it okay i just want to start off first by saying that all these weapons are pretty mediocre and if you're wanting a really good shotgun don't go with any of these weapons these weapons are just kind of like if you're free to play and you have some coins to spend and you want some good shotguns and honestly mega destroyer this first weapon here is actually pretty good i mean without modules you can see it's not like the best it's not like getting a ton of kills but as soon as you put i put modules on here i just put modules on um i start getting a lot more kills i didn't really uh, my recording kind of broke so i didn't get all the good gameplay but i was actually able to get a lot of kills with this weapon and i actually took first place on my team which is pretty freaking cool i honestly don't, did not expect this weapon to perform this well especially because it's only epic and i highly recommend if you're a free to play player who's looking to spend some coins on a good shotgun do this one because it has no input output delay so you can three cat with it the only downside really is that well it's, it's damage isn't super good and also its range is kind of like horrible all right so now i'm moving on to a really hyped up weapon right now the assault shotgun i'm not really too sure why this one is super hyped up apparently if you upgrade it to legendary or mythical it's really good but right now like I said, all these weapons perform, or actually I didn't say this yet, but all these weapons seem to perform like exactly the same. It's pretty much the same thing as the Mega Destroyer, except it's just got, I think, a slower, slower fire rate, obviously, but it also has a little bit more range and it has a higher capacity. And honestly, I like this weapon too. It's pretty fun to use, especially with shotgun spam. I don't really, I'm not using that yet, but I'll show you what that is. But yeah, I mean, obviously, once I put modules on, this weapon is so much better. Here's the shotgun spam right here. You can see it's just basically I equip a shotgun and then rebel and then spam them back and forth instead of using 3-cat. I enjoy that more. I don't know why. I just find it so fun and satisfying. And especially with the assault shotgun, it's just absolutely amazing. And yeah, now I have modules on. I noticed a significant increase in damage with this weapon specifically when I put on modules. I was able to get a lot more kills. And I, yeah, I could understand why this weapon is pretty hyped up right now, especially when, if you were able to upgrade it to legendary or mythical, I could see this weapon doing a lot more damage. And yeah, overall, this is another one I highly recommend. All right, so the next one on this list is Saturn. And I'd say that this weapon, like I said, still performs pretty much the same as all the other ones. And it has no input or output delay, just like I'm showing here. And I'm pretty sure all the weapons don't have input or output delay. And I'd say that out of all the weapons on this list, this one probably has the best range. So if you're looking for a shotgun with good range, this one is probably it. 
Um, honestly, I, yeah, the three epic weapons, I'd say, are honestly pretty decent, especially when you put modules on, they do increase damage. By the way, my modules are energy and they're level six. I use the same thing for each weapon, and yeah, modules are on now. I just, I, I, I don't know. I, I think that these are pretty cool because you can buy them with coins. They're like pretty good for free to play players, especially if you're wanting to three cat. These shotguns are definitely the way to go. Or shot, I guess a lot of people don't three cat with shotguns apparently, but uh, if you're wanting to, these weapons are definitely it. And you can see just me getting kills, you know, I mean, I mean, it's not like a lot of kills. Like, I mean, if I was using like Chickaboom, I would do a lot better. I mean, yeah, like I said, these weapons are just like for lower level players who are looking for a good shotgun that you can get with coins and not have to worry about wasting them and stuff like that. All right, now moving up to the legendary shotguns, the prehistoric shotgun, I gotta say, I mean, I made it look really good right there. However, I just, I could not use this weapon. I just didn't like it. I, I could not get the, it has a weird feel down. I don't know if it's because like it's, it's smaller. Like you can tell it's a lot smaller than other shotguns and I don't know, it just messed me up. I couldn't really use this weapon. I didn't think it was all that good. However, I mean, it's it, like I said, it performs pretty much the same as all the other weapons. It's just, I don't know why they all perform Perform, seem to perform the same but um yeah it's it's still really good i mean obviously it's legendary so i mean if all these weapons are performing the same i wouldn't recommend you go for this one i'd recommend you go for the other ones because this one's gonna be more expensive and i just feel like it's it, it's not worth it i mean obviously now that i have modules on i'm able to get more kills and i'm actually kind of in a different style map ice palace is its like own unique style and yeah i found it pretty easy to get kills once i put modules on and got closer closer to people yeah all right, now the last weapon on this list is the Predator, and yeah, sorry I stutter there, but this weapon, it's probably the worst weapon on the list, and a lot of you are probably already screaming at me in the comments, and are like, why'd you do this one and not block shotgun or semi-auto shotgun, and it's because, A, I'm in a rush to get this video out, because I just want to get a video out, and also because I don't have the other two, and I mean, block shotgun it's almost it's like 400 gems and honestly that's not worth it because a lot of people say it's really bad and it needs a buff so yeah i just put a, a predator on here and actually with modules it did okay but i still think that this is definitely the worst weapon on the list and especially because it's legendary it's just not worth it but it's still better than the other shotguns i i think i don't know i'm gonna say that i'm just gonna say that and if you guys want to get mad at me i I, just do it. I don't care. I mean, whatever. At least I made a video, okay? I mean, I could have just not made a video today, and I'm sure a lot of you are actually, like, a lot of you like my videos, so I just thought I'd get it out, and yeah. So, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm gonna finish it off with some gameplay here, but i just like to thank you all for watching, and if you're new, consider subscribing for more Pixel Go content just like this. I mean, I'm not very active right now, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's just whatever. And yeah, I'd just like to say thank you all for watching again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.